When you come across a natural feature like this little lake with a fence in front of it, your first instinct as a photographer is to get up close to the fence and take a picture over it because you don't want the fence in the shot. However, sometimes the fence can actually be one of the more interesting aspects of the picture. So when I first took this shot, I was close to the fence, looking over it at the lake behind, and it was okay, but unfortunately the sky was just a bit too plain, it was taking up too much of the shot. However, by coming back a bit, I could include this fence in front of me and actually use this top and middle bar to frame the water behind it. Now, with this kind of shot, it's all about getting the height exactly right. As I begin to lower the phone down, you'll see that this top section begins to raise up in the frame until it fills the sky. Now I want to see the middle one as well, so I'm going to go back a bit until I can see both sections of that fence. Now if I was square onto it, well the fence is just going to be a horizontal line. It's okay, but it's not that involving. I'd prefer to take it at more of an angle, and that in turn means that the top and the middle section start off high in the corners and move down in a converging diagonal. They're drawing my attention to the middle of the frame, which makes it a lot more dynamic and exciting. And then it's the case of just getting that height exactly right so that the lake is positioned exactly in between these two bars. And I also liked incorporating a little bit of sky above this bushy area here to separate it from this top bit of wood. In terms of composition, this one for me is all about the height of the phone. If you start off too high, you're peeking over the fence. If you're too low, well, you can't really see the uh, nice lake behind it. But if you get the height just right, you can use the fencing as a frame to fill a otherwise boring looking sky. And I think it looks best if I don't crop off the top of these bushes just in the distance. Just even a little bit higher, the, the fence is just too connected to those bushes. But if I bring that down a bit and you have just a little strip of sky above it, that looks much better. Then once I've got the height right, it's about angling the phone left and right. Now if I have it completely angled left so I'm square on, it looks okay, but these fence posts are just too horizontal. I like having this post supporting them in the shot because they will become diagonals that lead your line into it. I think that is much more interesting. But, as always, I'm going to take a few different versions because, well, you may change your mind after the event. And again, it's nice to have a series so that you can always post different versions later on. All right, so let's review these photos. And this first one that I'm starting with was when I was face on, and you can see the fencing is completely horizontal. It doesn't look too bad because I've got most of the lake in it, but I think it's uninvolving. Then as I swipe through them, you'll see me angling the phone more to the right-hand side until at this point, the fence here is angling in, drawing your attention to this side of the frame. This is one of my favorites. This one a little more so because you can see some more space of the sky in between the fence and these bushes. The next shot includes this fence post. This, again, I think the fence looks nicest, but I'm losing the real attention of the lake. So this one is my favorite overall in terms of balancing the fence and the lake. But overall, I think this shot of this little pondy lake thing here is much more attractive now that I've incorporated the fence as framing. <laughs>